yes, I opened a portal into actual hell. It'll be the main attraction for the park. All right, everybody, welcome back to Banjo-Tooie Witchy World Part 3, I suppose that's what this is. <laughs> um, I was kind of looking around before the episode started to kind of see what to do next because I was kind of at a loss. But then I, I realized there was like a whole inferno area that we haven't opened. And this is the only thing I can think of that's like relevant to it. So let me look at this real quick. This is where you pay to enter. Oh, wait, pay? I, I can become a money truck and that's what I can pay with. Okay, we have direction. Yeah, I think the Inferno place is literally the only area we haven't been to yet. So hopefully we can get some good things done this episode. I gotta go way up here. Apologies if you hear a dog barking. Um, my, I, I don't know, I guess my neighbor's got a, a, a different set of neighbors got a new dog. And I don't know if that actually makes it through on the recording. I have my audio set up to where it's very forgiving of things like that. But I won't know if it'll actually be a problem until I edit. So, I don't know, maybe future Brian will make a note of it while I'm editing. And put some weird text on the screen like I usually do. Good lord, that dog won't shut up. There's not a lot I can do about it. I mean, one option is to wait until, you know, the dog stops barking. But I ain't got all day to fucking wait. I got a fucking, I got a, I got a channel to keep up. For all six of you viewers. Beep beep, motherfucker. Okay. Let's go fucking deposit money into this box. Go check out the inferno area. Run, bitch, run! Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love that you can run over the fucking carnies. Pay here to enter the fearsome furnace of the inferno! Dling! Wow, one coin. That was a huge coin. And the ride is now open! I can't believe it took me three episodes to fucking do this. Of course, we did just get the, uh... The truck transformation <laughs> last episode. So, I mean... You know... It's interesting that the door opens and closes like that. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's kind of annoying, functionally. Okay, what's going on here? Hello! You're one of the children. Sorry, but I only talk to bullshit. Alright, I get it. Let's go over here. Yeah, run, bitch. Run! Frankensteiny motherfucker! A cheat code. Okay. I uh, don't... Think, ah, wait. That doesn't actually hurt me. Nice. I can just drive in this. It's pretty cool. We got a Globo. Oh, whoa. That's fucking... That's Mumbo. Awesome. Oh, this is where Mumbo's place is. Okay, this is making more sense. Now. What does this do? Well, I know what it does, but... What relevance does it have? Okay. That looks like a very annoying jiggy to get. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, I have to split up. Okay, we, we need to change back into Banjo and Kazooie. So, let's do that. I'm gonna split up. Uh, Banjo, I guess, is gonna stand on the... on the switch. And then Kazooie's going to go up the spiral and get the jiggy. Seems pretty straightforward. I have a strange old memory of getting very frustrated with the spiral bullshit. So, I wonder how difficult this actually is going to be. But I guess we'll find out. We will find out together. We are in this together. One love. One witchy world. Um, outside Mumbo's skull. Oh, 
Okay, so now we're here. It's Banjo Kazooie. Wait, we need to split. I'm getting ahead of myself, as I as I do. Oh, not only that, I gotta have speed up shoes on. Adding to the to the frustration, I'm sure. Wait, where's the split up pad? Where did they go? They're on the other side. I know where they're at. I know where they're at. I'm just trying to make up shit to say into the microphone, because otherwise this would just be a random playthrough. Which I guess it kind of is. I don't know who I'm kidding. Alright. What? Damn it. Oh, I'm starving. Give me some fries and I'll leave quietly. I have fries. Well, you've got fries. Can I have some? Can I? Can I? Will you give me some food? Yeah, fuck it. If you'll go back to your mother. Just worried sick about you. Thanks, mister. I'll go and see if mom is ready to leave. Yeah, you do that. Well, thanks for finding the little scamp for me. There's still another two to find, though. I know. I'm working on it. Oops. Oh, to jump further, I gotta do the bag thing. Okay. I'm learning. Um, okay. I, I, I thought it was gonna play another cinematic <laughs> for a second. Alright, let's try this. Oh my fucking god. You gotta be... You gotta be quick. I'm going to fucking fall, dude. Oh, this isn't good. Because he's gonna die. Because I am incompetent. Is that just a game over in general? Okay, we just start back over here. Alright. So, I gotta be more careful. Clearly. Wait, do we share honeycomb when we're like this? I can see that it's split up, but it looks like we also, also share. No, we don't. Okay. We have two separate... Separate pools of honey. Fucking A. God damn it. Get out of the goddamn... I don't... I'm, I've already- I've already fucked this up. I'm just- here. Fuck it. Fried chicken. <sighs> I- I had a feeling this was gonna be frustrating. It's- it's- it's happening. We're fucking living it. I'm living it every goddamn day of my life. Alright. Let's go, Banjo. Don't fucking goddamn it. Mmm. This game is great. I love it. Okay, is there a safer way to go? Here we go. Okay. Wait for that guy, and then we're gonna go. Dude, ah, uh, I was doing it correctly at first. I don't know what happened. Oh. What? Oh, I made it. Nice. Okay. I had like way more time with the shoes than I thought I was gonna have. Dude, look at this fucking... This is insane. <laughs> like, Grunty's like, Yes, I opened a portal into actual hell! It'll be the main attraction for the park! Oh, also, they're still going. They don't stop sliding just because I beat the puzzle. That's nice. Nice of them to do that. I could jump off. But I feel like I'm gonna die if I do that. So we'll just- we'll just be patient. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's go hook up with Banjo. And cool, we're done with that. Let's go grab Mumbo, the greatest character in Banjo-Kazooie lore. He's like the Superman of the fucking franchise. Why are there enemies in your place, Banjo? Or Mumbo? Mumbo, wait for Banjo and Kazooie to come and kill intruders. I cannot be <laughs> fucked to waste any time doing that housekeeping work. 
It's bullshit. Welcome again, Bear Embird. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Of course. Of course, Mumbo. Sure, we need all the help we can get. We are subservient to thee, Skull Lord. <laughs> Fucking love the noises in this game. It's so charming. Kudos to the sound designers in this game. Oh, he's back. Whatever. That's weird that there's an enemy in there. I don't, I don't remember that. Cool. Now we have a lot more we can do. And by a lot more, I mean, like, two things that I can think of over in the space area. But, you know, that just might get us going, so... I'm ready. My body is ready. Y'all are ready. Wumba's ready. Ah, oh, whatever. Go away. Alright, Mumba, do your thing. Peek on poke em, peek on poke em. Power. Dodge em, dome. Oh yeah, isn't there like a bumper cars minigame? In every game I've ever seen where there's bumper cars, or maybe not every, but a lot, I always see them called dodgems, but I've never in real life seen that. Is that a thing somewhere that I'm not aware of, that people call bumper cars dodgems? Or something? Is that a cultural thing? I'm from Texas, and as far as I know, we just call that bumper cars. I, I, I don't know if dodgems a thing somewhere else. Maybe up in the north? I don't know. Oh, this is like a three-parter kind of thing. But I gotta be Banjo or Kazooie to do it, clearly. Wait, no, I gotta be the car. Okay, so I guess we'll come back here as the car. Cool. That's all we needed Mumbo for, was to open the goddamn door. But we also need him for this area over here. And I'm curious as to what this does. I think it just turns it on. The whole star spinner thingy. Mumbo maintenance will fix. I will zap the shit out of you. Yeah, that's right. I like how they run whenever I... Whenever I start doing that. Dabba da da Alright, Mumbo. Maintain this star spinner. Peep up, poke on, peek on, poke on, peek on, poke on, peek on, bop. Oh, it's like a platformy kind of deal. Okay. Oh, Lord. I don't remember this very well. It's it's interesting. I kind of do. Like, I remember the shape of the stars, but I don't remember having to jump on them and shit. Ubudaka! That's right, Mumbo. Work here is done. I think that's all we need a Mumbo for. I don't recall seeing another um, platform, Mumbo platform, so. I think we'll just call it good with that. And we'll change into... Let's let's change back to Banjo-Tooie and then come back here first before we go get the car. Because the Dodgems thing is going to take... I feel like it's going to take a little bit longer because it's its own, it's own self-contained minigame. And there's three stages to it. So that means there's probably going to be at least one of those stages where I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It just makes sense to me. Wait, is there anything behind here? Nah. There's a severe lack of things behind buildings, and I am not here for it. I have to say. In mini games, I feel like you gotta put things behind those areas. Just like, like for example, in a video game where there's waterfalls, you are legally obligated to put some kind of collectible <laughs> behind the waterfall. That's just, if, if it's not illegal, it should be to not do that. It just makes sense. I don't know why that makes sense to me. I think it's because I grew up playing Zelda. I think that's 100% the reason why. Um, Space Zone. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me to the space zone. Space zone. So what do we do with this? We just gotta jump on the platforms? Is that kind of what's going on here? They're not spinning. But maybe they'll start spinning whenever I hop on them. Go away. Making me nervous. Shit. Oh, whoa. They really fucking go up. And they really fucking go down, too. So you gotta kind of... Oh, shit. You gotta kind of do this all in one go, it looks like. Where's the next one? Over here. Holy hell. <laughs> no. Wow. Dude, damn, that fucking hurt. Okay. Um, we can't just do that. Oh, hey, there's a honeycomb, or a beehive, I guess, over here. Give me that. This is certainly not enough, though. So we'll have to kill that carny over there. He looks like he wants it. Would you like some beak, sir? Too bad. You get it anyway. You as well? Alright, cool. We are totally stocked up. Let's try this again. Eee. Oh my god. This sucks. Okay, I made it. Now what? We probably want to jump on it whenever it's spinning. Oh shit. Oh, that's weird as hell. Okay, um... I think I had it. Yes, okay. No, 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 I gotta be Kazooie. Okay. Jesus. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Got it. Ah, oh, sweet. And you know what's hilarious about this? Is you have to jump down. Well, I guess I can catch myself, but... Oh, no, I can't. Not whenever he's doing that. Whatever, we made it. We're good. We got the jiggy. Yeah, that's right. Don't want none. Okay, let's uh, go change into the car, I guess, now. And try to do the bumper cars thing. After we steal all the honey from this guy. Okay, never mind. He doesn't have any honey. He's not sweet. He's not a sweet guy. All right. Um, boo, 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 boo. Outside Wamba's wigwam. Oh, Wamba. Can I come inside your wigwam? Sorry, that came out very bad. But I'm not taking it back. I stand by what I said. That's probably the most explicit wigwam joke I've made so far. It's only downhill from here now. Can only get worse. Now, oh, fuck. I didn't mean to... Can I... Can I jump all the way back? Up? No, that's why there's like a thing here. Let's just do that, I guess. I don't want to drive all the way across the park. Although this fucking loading screen is making me want to. God. Uh, yeah, space zone. Go do dodgems. Dodgem cars. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a car. I like how I fit perfectly in this fucking entryway, it's funny. Like, yeah. 
square car goes in square hole. Oh, I gotta pay. Right, 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 right. Everything costs money. Pay here to enter the bone jarring Dodgem's challenge. Have a giant quarter. This looks fake. The ride is now open. The money looks fake, but I mean, my rides are fake, so I mean, doesn't matter. Wait. Oh, I can't be the car. That's weird. You would think, since I'm already a car, I would go join the Bumper Cars minigame as the money car. But whatever, I guess we'll play by Grunty's rules. Nothing else makes sense in this goddamn game. Why would that? Alright, hey, I'm back. Hey, babe. I'm gonna use your pool. Hope that's cool. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm just sitting here painting my nails. Constantly. Forever. I never move from this spot. That's not Wamba's voice. This <laughs> is not the voice I gave her at all. Um, Space Zone again. I think that's like the fifth time we fucking ported there this episode. At least we have things to do. At least we're not wandering around, I guess. Because that's not as fun. Every time I use the teleporter now, it's with Poipus. All right, let's go play bumper cars, I guess. Oh, shit. 1v1. Okay. Oh, God, that thing is ugly as hell. <laughs> Leave our Twinklies... What? Leave our Twinklies alone? Is that what he said? Let's see you collect 60 points worth of Twinklies in 45 seconds. And if you don't, we'll Twinkly on you. Am I... Is this it? This isn't much of a challenge. How many did she say? 60? Listen to the fucking crowd. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I think 60 was the goal. I think we beat it. Is this guy supposed to be bumping me more or something? Huh, not bad. You've beaten game one with 64 points. Now try my second challenge. Yeah. Gladly, Miss Gruntilda. Let's go. Bring it on, as the children say. Two versus one. Okay, so there's gonna be two guys pushing me. Probably gonna be more annoying. Nah. <laughs> Which one? It's the gas pedal. Shit. Nah, I guess it's too late. Let's see you collect 50 points worth of Twinklies in 45 seconds. Whack the bear. Um. Okay, yeah, if they like corner me, this is gonna be annoying. Like that. Oh my god. I can't do anything about it. I literally can't do anything about it. You'd think I'd have like a button to kind of knock him away, but nope, I don't even have that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I think we got it. Yep, there we go, 50. <laughs> this is kind of obnoxious. Shit, we met the same goal as- in fact, we got more than the first game. You got way more. Hey, what's this? You've beaten game two with 75 points. But there's still my third challenge. I promise it'll be a little bit more difficult. So either they're going to have three guys after me or they're going to include Twinklies that will decrease my score. Um, if they include Twinklies that decrease my score, I could see that being a huge fucking bitch. Oh, nice. I'm just beating your head on the... That's not how you fix it. 
You're in for a real ramen this time, pal. Oh, no. Let's see you collect 40 points worth of Twinklies in 45 seconds. That's almost a Twinkie a second. Twinkie? <laughs> oh god, I thought it was on the bottom for some reason. I'm stuck. I'm totally stuck. I'm totally fucking stuck. Okay, okay. And they're like actually bumping me this time, they're not... They're like actually hitting me. Shit. Oh, this is tough, dude. <laughs> this is so fucking annoying. Oh, I got it, though. Yeah, we're good. I already won. Nice. No! You've beaten game three with 43 points. Now, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of prize. Uh, that's right. Hand it over, you bony bitch. Uh, Kazooie, you can't say that. Oh, right, you bony hag. I like calling her a bitch, though, especially a bony one. I like the alliteration. It stings more whenever you rhyme or alliterate. If you put some kind of poetic twist on your burns, it, it, it tends to hit harder. I know, Kazooie, but this is not the place. It's not the place or the time. There's children playing this game. Oh, fuck the children. <laughs> We went from Conker to this? I don't know if uh, Conker was first or Banjo-Kazooie was first. Wait, I don't know where I'm going. I think we're done with this area. I got sidetracked with that little... little... <laughs> Banjo and Kazooie conversation that was happening. What else is left? I can't really think of anything. Oh, we gotta get the the kids. Wait, yeah, how do we get the the fat kid to <laughs> fucking to go back to his mom? I haven't figured that part out yet. Let me go talk to him again real quick. Also, I don't know how to release the fucking like the dinosaur and the camel and all that. I, I haven't figured that out yet either. Alright, what do you have to say? Please take me to my mom. I'm too full to walk there myself. Oh my god. Well, fucking just quit being a lazy fuck and go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I think we'll figure that out next time. So thanks for watching me all. Like and comment on this video and uh, subscribe for more retro gaming content in the future. I will talk to y'all later. Goodbye.